So you see the top that's threading, um, and so that turned up the bone when they put it in. So that's like, instead of getting like, it just helps with the healing. But then the head right here is designed so then it can be taken out if necessary. But otherwise they'd pretty much have to pulverize the bone in order to take it out. Um, so the head is there so it can be taken out, but ideally it's just in me for life. <laughs> Yeah, because can you see this? Is it in the screen? <laughs> I'll just keep looking for the cookies. <laughs> just, just say green ingredients. <laughs> well, they don't have them here. They have them on the app. <laughs> Which, oh, I messed up. I told you about the birthday thing. That you have to have your birthday in more than 24 hours in advance. Or you don't get your free cookie. Oh. Yeah. It's not just on. You have to put your birthday in on the app more than 24 hours in advance. Like, I'm like, I have a passport, a driver's license, what do you need? And they're like, it needs to be on the app more than 24 hours in advance. I'm like, okay. Digital world. Okay. I, I guess everyone's, well, two things people are wondering is, um, you have a YouTube channel now, huh? Well, for now, it's a trial. We'll see how long it lasts, but we're trying something out and we'll see. Well, so we'll start with June. I was prepping for WTS Leeds and I went out for a run one day and I felt something in my foot and I had, I was diagnosed with a stress reaction and I was told two to six weeks, you'll be back. Like it was really minor. One surgeon even said, he's like, well, I wouldn't have even stopped you from running with that minor an edema. Um, but it wasn't healing. It wasn't healing. Finally at 11 weeks, I saw a doctor and he said, well, you can start running now because if it's not healed, it's not going to heal. Um, I started racing in the fall. I raced Dallas and then Cagliari and then 70.3 Worlds and then Bermuda and Abu Dhabi. And then I took a little break and it turns out that my foot was not healed. So I got another MRI, the stress fracture, it was now a stress fracture with a CT scan showed a fracture line. So then my options were I could either like rest it fully and hope it would heal. And that I think would be eight weeks of nothing in a boot, no weight bearing, no training whatsoever, or I could get surgery. And so I opted to get surgery and I got a screw put in my fifth metatarsal on January 3rd. Because the insert, the incision point is directly to the bone. I had to be very careful and wait until it healed to start swimming again or doing anything. Um, and so I took, so I took two weeks pre-surgery and then probably four weeks post-surgery of not really doing a lot of anything. Um, I did get to do strength with Aaron, which was very, helped my sanity a lot. Um, I kind of wanted to go in the next day after surgery. I think she said no to that one, but it was like maybe two days after surgery I was back working with her. Um, and then at four weeks I was cleared to swim and start biking very easy. And at that point they told me, well, now you haven't been doing anything for a long time. So you have to really ease into it, which is really nice to hear. Um, but then like slowly built up and, um, I'm back swimming and biking fully and adding the running in now. One thing that I learned from the injury recovery process is it was very focused externally. Um, people were telling me what I couldn't do. And it was like, you can't do this, you can't do this, you can't do this. Um, and that was, that was a lot of the guidance that's given and maybe that's just like how the medical system is in the United States. But I would say like, there wasn't a lot of, well, you should be doing this and you can be doing this. And I think I realized probably three weeks post-surgery that like, I hadn't spent any time outside. So I went for a scooter and I crashed like a knee scooter, my knee scooter that I got to use and I crashed on it. Um, but it was still like just nice to be outside. And so I think that like realizing when you do an activity that like my training couples as like social time for me, time that I get outside, not only the house, but spend outside. Um, and it's like a time where I can think and just 
be focused purely on the task at hand. Um, and so I think I, I didn't realize how much I was losing by not doing training because of everything that training doubles as. And so I think that what I, it, it was tough, but I've learned a lot from it. And I think that if I would do it again or recommend anything, it's kind of focus on what do you need to do? And okay, if you need to cut an activity out for a given reason, what does that activity also provide you? And so then what else do you need to add into your life to fulfill those needs? Sorry. <laughs> but yes, it was very, <laughs> it was challenging. And I think that um, like I'm very grateful for the people around me because um, I was very not fun to be around some days. I'm, I know I, it wasn't, it wasn't so fun, but like that's part of life and it's a period of time that's hopefully closed now, but there'll be another one. How many books did you read? Oh, I've read a lot. I, it's been really dying down now. January was a lot. February, I for, like, it was a little less. March, there were some good books, but there have been a lot of good books coming out. So I tried to read a lot because then it's like focusing on an activity. I'm a little too fidgety to watch TV sometimes, so that doesn't always work. Um, but yes, I was enjoying the reading. Okay, so favorite book was Good for a Girl by Lauren Fleischman. I would say that is a very good book that most athletes should read if they haven't already. Favorite quote? Well, like it, it depends. I think it depended on the day. It's kind of like, is there a good song? And it depends on the day. But in the practice of groundedness, um, Brad Stolberg, it was like, stay on the path, fall off the path, get back on the path. And like, just, I think that's a good reminder that like, you just kind of always have to get back on the path.